Hey all, so hey, I just wanted to send this quick video out. A couple of people are asking, do we need to use AI? Can we use AI? How do we use AI? So Hack does not really have a, uh, a policy on it. So each teacher right now is creating their own. Um, I do allow you to use AI assistance. So what that means is that um, you can help, you can use AI uh, if it helps you, you do need to cite it. So that means that if you've used ChatGPT to help you do something, you need to, you know, you need to have that in your in your work cited list that you got, you know, you got help from it. So, but what I want to do here is actually show you how we can actually use uh, AI to help us more of a brainstorming activity uh, that's or I should say that's how it'll help you is more of a brainstorming way it can give you some ideas it's not going to write the outline for you um, that I have realized anyway it's it's just doesn't have that capability yet so um, that's why I don't mind if you use it I mean if you don't if you want to try it go ahead if not it, it's up to you so um, what I want to do and I'm actually so just as an FYI I am recording this in ScreenPal so uh, this is something that maybe you want to get used to also your zoom account is a screen capture program and that allows you to use or record audio from your computer as well as video so um, you know, it, it does have sometimes a connection issue, which I sometimes have here in my office at home. So watch that. But uh, for the most part, you could use your free account. You don't have to pay for it. And I would try to get used to it. It, it's, it works a lot easier. And then you just upload the video into Go React. So you save it as an MP4 and then upload it into go react so all right let me get back on track so you want to try to use maybe an AI source uh, for a presentation so what I like to do is use it as a brainstorming for my outline so I'm just gonna go down here and hide this so right here I already pulled up my chat GPT um, this is actually I didn't even log into my personal one this is just one that you can use yourself um, I realized that the one that you log in yourself, so if you have it, it does give you a little bit of a different outline, I found out. Interesting that if you actually log in, it gives you a different outline. So, but if you don't want to give up your info, whatever, I mean, so you know the computer is still tracing you so so if you come down here and you message chat GPT so uh, whatever maybe a topic you're thinking about for your informative speech so you have your sift demonstration coming up next for a presentation so finding a source that you may use for your informative speech would probably be smart right uh, so this actually will maybe even help you so uh, I don't know what you're interested in right now you know I'm watching some baseball but I'm also watching the NFL so I my favorite team is the Miami Dolphins you know they finally actually went today after all the injuries so what I want to do is I'm just gonna ask chat GPT to create an outline Uh, let me see. I guess I can use about the Miami Dolphins football team. And then it'll just start to populate. Right? Now look at that. So, you know, some decent information, right? so and and sort of an outline and that's what i'm saying is you can use this to help maybe get some ideas 
but this is necessarily not quite in outline format the way we want it to be. You know, the introduction is incomplete. Um, there's multiple lines here. We want to make sure each each point has its own line. Uh, there's no transitions in here. There's no sources for that matter. Actually, let me uh, let me um, see if I can get back over here. And see, no, but it's not going to let me. I want to see if I come back and see. Uh, no. I was going to say if I could do it with sources. Oh, no, it's down here now. Okay. I'm just going to try this. Our big speech for informative will have three sources, so maybe even we should have put more in. Oh, here we go. Alright, so here we're actually getting some, so oh wow, well, yeah, some sources. Um, hmm. Definitely not the way that we say them, right? and no formal works cited page. So, you know, when we look at how we can use AI, um, you know, utilize it for what it is. It's not going to be able to give you the, your complete job. So looking at this alone, you know, if we want to pop over to, where is that outline I had out? Oh, back in our week here. Um, week th week five. Oops. All right. So back in our current week, if we go into current week, big week five. Um, this is in fall right now. Wherever your artificial intelligence is, we also may have our um, informative speech information. So with that being said, you have your basic outline structure outline. And if we open that up, we're going to see that um, it is not going to be complete compared to what was given to us in ChatGPT. You know, think about our introduction, the attention getter. We need credibility. We have a preview statement. There were no transitions in there. You know, it didn't give us our, um, our orientation up there at the top. Forgot about that. There was no like sub sub points, you know, and definitely no formal work cited. So, you know, that's where it's going to be a little bit different. So, you know, there's no real major supporting material in there. There's no major details in there. So, again, if you want to try to use it, use it. If not, eh, whatever. So, but a couple of people were asking, do we have to, can we, are we allowed, how? So hopefully this video helps you a little bit. And um, actually what I want to say even to you is, again, you can use it for more of a brainstorming activity. You know, it showed you, it showed you, uh, you know, some, some main points here. Maybe you're struggling with, I don't know how to break it down. Like, mm, I don't know what to talk about. So, or how to, you know, break something down. Here they're breaking it down into team history, key identity, key players and coaches. And they have one, well, a couple of main points there. So, we're, you know, we're looking at two to four main points. So, the thing is, is you can also do this uh, with, and I think I have this in one of my presentations, with Wikipedia. Now, remember, we can't use Wikipedia as a source, but we can use it to help us out, right? And look what it does. Well, my gosh, here's a bunch of main points. So if we're struggling to try to figure out, you know, what do I really want to talk about? 
And then what's also nice about Wikipedia, since we can't actually use Wikipedia as a source because it is user generated um, or changed, we always can look down and we're going to be able to see the sources uh, within. And then you can actually see the sources at the very bottom of all of their all right, oh, there we go. This is a long one. So here's all the sources. So actually go to these sources. And remember, we're trying to get uh, within five years old. If it's historical, eh, we can't. You know, it's it's part of history, so it can be a little bit older than. So again, you know, just a few things. You can see this is, has been updated recently. We don't know by whom, though. So we can see that we can use, uh, you know, ChatGPT for assistance in helping maybe brainstorm, get some ideas, sort of an outline, sort of, but it's not going to be complete. There is no way you're going to get even remotely maybe half credit for that. Just very incomplete for what we need. So keep that in mind when you're going and looking around. Don't wait to the last minute for any of these. And always keep in mind, you know, that um, you're trying to find quality sources. And that's what this first presentation you're going to do here now, the SIF presentation is going to help you find some quality sources. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Uh, any questions, obviously reach out.